Hello also in last video we saw how can we implement incremental load strategy using mapping variable and this was the mapping which we had created for that so if I go back and see my mapping variable so this was the mapping variable which we had created and as you can see it's a date time and we use that mapping variable in our source qualifier query all right so this was the mapping variable which we used now in this video we are going to see how can we implement same incremental load strategy using mapping parameter instead of mapping variable we'll try to use mapping parameter so we'll see that let me close this guy what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the same mapping keep both and I'm going to rename this guy as using parameter file yeah this is fine param file uh, okay the, or uh, map 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 not map uh, let's say map param mapping parameter this is fine okay I will save this guy let me open this mapping okay and uh, first thing is I will get rid of that mapping variable and instead I will go ahead and create a mapping parameter so I will use this guy okay now the difference between mapping variable and mapping parameter is we we had created mapping variable of type date time however when it comes to parameter we don't see that option so we'll select a string as of now okay and i will click okay i will save this guy one more thing is like we initialize the value of our let me get rid of this expression and uh, let me connect this guy and we since we removed or deleted our uh, mapping variable I will get rid of these extra ports as well perfect I will save this guy and let me just validate our target mapping as well so this is still holds correct okay and let me go back to my source and in the case of uh, mapping variable what I will do is I will simply use mapping parameter now if you remember when we had used mapping variable I was able to preview my data we'll try now let's see what happens it failed why it failed conversion failed when loading converting date time from character string now thing is it worked when we use mapping variable reason being when we defined a mapping variable we define that as a date time all right however when we are creating a mapping parameter it is of type string all right so that's the reason why it's not able to convert because there is no value when we create a date time mapping variable integration service by default assign the default default date value as 17 something right whereas when we are creating a string it doesn't have a default date value okay it might be empty or maybe null so that's the reason why it's failing but that's fine what we'll do I will still go ahead I will save this guy or mapping it's still in valid state I will create a mapping task now so new mapping task So mapping task and using instead of map variable I will use mapping parameter right P R A M E T R okay let me select the runtime environment and so far so good uh, this is all good one thing is I will make this verbose so that we can validate what's going on I will download this param template file okay let me open this guy now if you see here uh, this is a structure of my parameter file now 
since there is no mapping variable uh, it, it could have came here if there is a mapping variable now we have defined a mapping parameter so what I will do is so this is my mapping parameter I will use dollar dollar this and I will use 19 so let me go back I will copy this value and instead I will use a 0 1 let's say 0 1 and 1900 perfect so this is this is okay so this is my date time value I will be specifying at parameter file now we'll have to save this param file so I will save it at out files and I will save it here okay let me save this parameter file name as well so I am keeping that file at this directory let me save that as well close this guy so I am keeping my parameter file at this directory let me go back to my mapping task and here I will specify my param file name and the directory perfect uh, so far so good and I will click finish Okay, saved. Now let's run it and let's see what happens. I will run it. One thing I forgot is I did not I haven't truncated the target table after our last run. What I will do maybe I will truncate it and let's see. I guess it will load 107 records but now I will have duplicates in my dimension table most likely so let's see no let me truncate okay okay and let me rerun again still in my param file I have specified my date as 1900 so it will still pull all the records if everything is correct so if I rerun this guy, right, so I should have 107 records inserted into my dimension table. Okay, let's see. Okay, we did get all the records here, right? So let me go and validate the session log. So what I will do, let me go here and download it from here. let's see so if I use select as you can see whatever value we had specified right in my mapping in my parameter file same value got picked up okay same value got picked up 1900 now instead what I will do is I will use this guy 10th today is like 10th right so I will copy this guy So if I run, let's see if I run this, so instead of 58, let's say I will use 358, so what is the time now? So it's 420, right? 420, so 16, 16, 20, let's say. If I run this guy, I will not get anything. So let's use this. I'll still select, get it. Yeah, it's 1620 and I will copy this. So that's my param file. I'm doing this manually for now. We'll see that. We, we can make it dynamic, but for now, let's do it manually and I will go ahead and rerun. So now should not basically this will be the my query and it should not pull any records okay so if I go back see it pulled zero records okay now let's go ahead and find the session log see 
say it's the same uh, why there is a space one moment still doesn't matter if I restart it will still okay it's still and if let me see the session log again right so it's same same date okay what I will do is let me update some record manually so I will update the same guy from 7400 to 8000 let's say okay I'm update making sure I'm updating the updated on date as well so if I run this I should get that record and my salary at dimension table should get updated as 8000 so let's validate that record in dimension table so this 7400 should get updated as 8000 and my mapping should pick only one record the one which is updated recently It did it did pick the one record and let me check my so if the seven seventy four hundred yeah, that got updated to eight thousand all right so let me check the session log as well I mean there is no change because the date is still same which is same sixteen twenty it's the same date what we specified in mapping sixteen twenty perfect so basically uh, this is how we can read the parameter file assign the value to parameter mapping uh, parameter and use that mapping parameter value in my SQL override so if I go back so this is where we can use that value okay but all these things what are map uh, parameter file creation and assigning the value to that uh, corresponding variable all these things we did manually we can automate that thing as well but we'll see that in next few videos all right so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video